Hi students, let's look at this question here which was taken from the year 2010 RVHS, paper 1 question 10b. Now we are told that any puts X amount on 1st January um, uh, into a bank account which pays compound interest at a rate of 3% per month on the last day of each month. On the first day of each subsequent month, she puts in amount of X more than what she puts in the previous month. For example, she put X on 1st and then 2X on the 1st. February and so on. So this case here, what we're gonna do is actually just gonna try and trace the the uh, the money. So what I'll say is we just put this down, and this case here, um, I'm gonna put this as uh, hold on at the start first Jan Jan okay start of January. And this is a start of January and this is the end. All right. So this is X amount after which uh, she pays a compound interest at 3%, which pays. So in the end here, what happens is you will get a 3% interest. This is multiplied by 1.03. Okay. 1.03. So 1.03, this will give us 1.03 X. Okay, the interesting thing is then we will have she will put another two x amount in. Okay, so in February, um, this would then be one point zero three x plus two x instead of plus x. This is a um, this is a plus x here. Two x. Okay, so this case here, same thing. When you cross this divide, just multiply by uh one point zero three. Then in this case here, each term multiplied by one point zero three. This will be 1.03 square x plus 2 times 1.03 x. Okay? Then the next part is add with 3x um, plus 3x. Okay? Then this will just be um, much, which is uh, 1.03 square x plus 2 times 1.03 x plus 3x. Okay? Now, because we want to show the amount of money at the bank on the last day of March, which means here is this amount here. Uh, so it looks it looks quite uh, horrifying, honestly. This is not a typical uh, uh, pattern which you can just see like it's a GP and so on. Uh, you may need some tweak here, I believe. So multiply by 1.03, this will give us 1.03 cube x plus 2 times 1.03 square x plus 3 multiplied 1.03x. Okay, so this is the amount here, which you need to show that is this amount. Okay, so how would you do that? So what will you do? What I'll suggest is uh, we try and see, okay, now this is not a GP, there's not a standard GP where you could just uh, multiply by 1.303 here. Then they multiply by 1.03, it doesn't look like uh, it, it is uh, the GP uh, like that, right? So what I'll suggest is we're going to break this apart. I will suggest breaking this 1.03 cube x plus this is, this has two, right? Two of this. So I'm going to write this as 1.03 square x. Okay, because this will give me a GP and plus 1.03 square x. So two of this. So we split this into two, all right? This is one of it and the other one of it is here. So this, this both. Uh, would add up and give you this. This is a two of it. All right. Then similarly for the last one, I'm going to split into three. Three of it, which is 1.03x plus 1.03x. Then you add another 1.03x. Now this over here uh, would then be okay. What we can see as a pattern, right? So the idea is really to be able to find the pattern out. If not, it's going to be very difficult. Now each of these then is very clear. This is a GP, a GP here. Okay, so so three of these gives you three. Yeah, this is two. Add up with this. This is GP. All these GP have a common um, attribute in the sense that the first term is one point zero three. So GP, this first term is is uh, one point zero three x. Right, and um, a your R would be one point zero three. Okay, so the first over here, let me just write this down. This is S three. Then this over here, this over here, 
this is S2 and this is S1. You see that? Yeah. So this case here, I know that this will just be a GP of S1. Or maybe I'll just put S3 first. S3 plus S2 plus S1. So I'm going to use a formula for GP here. The first term being um, 1.03x. And this is 1.03 cubed minus 1 over 1.03 minus 1. Then the other one will be 1.03x, uh, 1.03 square minus 1, and 1.03 minus 1 as well. Okay. Now, as far as pattern, pattern recognition is, is concerned, it's good if, although S1 is just a term, but it's good if we can just uh, express in S1, in this case here, it, although it's just the A term, right? We, we write it in, uh, because we want to be able to pattern recognize it. So I suggest we, we just write this as 1.031 minus 1 over 1.03 minus 1. So this case here, even you cancel, this is the A, but uh, so I purposely write in this form here so that I can factorize this out. So I can factorize this out. Then I can essentially see what is the pattern here. So factorize 1.03x out over 1.03 minus 1. Bracket, this will be 1.03 cubed minus 1 plus 1.03 square minus 1 plus 1.03 minus 1. Okay, so this case here this is interesting. Uh, again, this we could just key in calculator. I think 1.03. So 1.03 divided by 1.03 minus 1. There'll be 103 over 3x. Then this is 1.03 cubed plus 1.03 square plus 1.03 minus 3. Okay, so this is still, this is a new GP here. GP, uh, your first term is 1.03. R is 1.03. is S3, right? Another S3 here. So this case here, what we can do is 1.03 over 3x. A, 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 three minus one, 1.3 minus 1. S3, then minus of 3. Now this case is promising because we want to show that it's power 3. So I have got this power 3 here. Now same thing, I'm going to just key in calculator for this one here. Is it the same term there? Oh yes, this is 103 over 3. So this case here. 103 over 3x. 103 over 3. 3 cubed. Minus one, minus three. This case here, am I supposed to factorize the three out? Okay, I factorize the three out. Then you get one zero three minus one zero three minus three. This is zero six. Oh, sorry, factorize three out. This would be nine. Maybe I shouldn't skip so many steps here. So this will be confusing. So um, factorize the one third out. Minus one, minus nine. Okay. Uh, then this would be then one zero three over nine X, which is very promising. Nine minus three will be minus twelve. There you go. So that's how you do the first part. There should be quite okay. I think, yeah. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. And uh, let's look at the subsequent part.